look at that guys it it ran really smoothly and here as you can see it updated the column okay so now when we go to our sheet look at that it updated to done so the complete workflow is working okay as expected and let's take a look at the new post right here in our board so let's refresh now we have two pins and look at that this is the alfresco blind Okay, and we have the post directly. So we go to uh, this WordPress post, and this is the uh, Alfresco blind post that we have right here, which you can easily put affiliate link. Uh, for example, Amazon. Okay, like, like for example, you direct your visitor to uh, Amazon affiliate, uh, you know, to show them different Alfresco blinds right here. And yeah, it created a nicely generated image related to Alfresco blind. And this is our first image, which is Alfresco Emporium. Hey guys, so I just wanted to share with you a very interesting topic right here. So you must pay attention carefully in order for you to, you know, absorb the idea that I would be sharing with you. So for example, in your uh, our region, in my case, it's Australia and New Zealand. I just go to here, trends.pinterest.com. And like, for example, this one, I type in Alfresco designs. So look at this. Alfresco is an outdoor living, which is quite popular here in Australia and uh, New Zealand. So um, it's, uh, you know, related to uh, designing your uh, outdoor living uh, in order for you to, for example, entertain your visitors to are some sample design. So I wanted to share with you guys how you can integrate this on Pinterest. So as you can see right here in Keyword Explorer, so I just selected Australia and look at this, I type in Alfresco. Uh, the keyword difficulty is not that hard. And if we take a look at the keywords available for uh, Alfresco here uh, in Australia. So as you can see, there are lots of, uh, you know, meaningful keywords that we can use to get that Alfresco blinds, Alfresco gardenware, modern Alfresco design. So all of this guys. So uh, what we can do here is uh, just copy these keywords right here and come over to this uh, sheet, which I'm going to show you how you can integrate this. So just paste them right like right like that so delete those the uh, keywords that you feel that's uh, too generic like for example i just deleted alfresco so all these look at this um, alfresco cakes uh i think this is unrelated we can remove that first we will need to have a landing page suppose we have something to offer uh, on our visitor let's say for example we want to uh, direct them to a, a nice uh, equipment from amazon uh, which we can earn affiliate commission, uh, which we are going to do right here. So I'm going to show you how you can easily do that. For example, her Alfresco Emporium right here. So in the status, you will just say, uh, uh, you will just add pending because we will be using make.com to automate this type of uh, uh, workflow right here. We just, you know, uh, if you've done it correctly, it's very, really effective. Okay. Let's say Alfresco em Emporium. So let's do this Alfresco meaning. So uh, alfresco blinds, alfresco gardenware, those are, you know, many keywords which we can link our visitor to any type of Amazon, you know, uh, uh, equipment related to, for example, alfresco gardenware. There are lots in Amazon, uh, as I can see, okay, alfresco area, so this is too generic, let's delete that, okay. Now, I think uh, this is fine for our example right here. Uh, first, what we need to do is, uh, we need to uh, fetch this first keyword right here. Okay, so here in make.com, you create a new module that will connect your Google Sheet. So let's connect that to our Google Sheet and let's do uh, like this as uh, use this search rows and we will connect this one to our Google Sheet. And as you can see right here, uh, select from my drive and then spreadsheet. Look at that. We have this alfresco right here. So we will select that. So by, by default, we know that uh, all our keywords are listed in sh uh, sheet number one. And then here, um, of course, our uh, sheet has a column name right here. So we will just say yes in the column headers. And here, uh, we keep the range as default, A to uh, ZZ. And here, the filter uh, in status, we will only select uh, the status that has um, a value pending, okay? And we will... I have the return grow as one. So every time we run this automation, it will just capture, it will just fetch the first keyword right here. So in this case, it will capture the Alfresco Temporium. Okay. Now, what we need to do now is uh, I click OK on this one. Click OK. So um, now that we have our Google Sheet set up, this one, uh, what we can do is we need to uh, post this to Pinterest. Okay. But before that, we need to have a landing, uh, good, uh, uh, content here in our uh, website, for example, in my case, this WordPress website right here, uh, I will be connecting to this. So I will make connection to this website. So I'll add a new module and select WordPress. And then here, uh, I need to create a post for example, for this first keyword right here. 
Okay, so let's just connect to our uh, WordPress right here. So in my case, I already created a connection, uh, this one right here. Uh, in order for you to make a connection, you just need to uh, download this plugin called this one make connector so just add that and once you have that plugin you go to make and you just need this api key and integrate that to your make that com connection so in my case i did that so yeah so uh this will be the third step so because this one right here is the time we will be creating a uh, our article at the same time a good quality image which i'm going to show you look at this guys it will produce a really nice uh you know appealing image for this alfresco design right here so in our connection, in, in our uh, HTTP request, we just need to create a call going to uh, this one right here, articleai.com, articleaigenerator.com, create article. And we will need this uh, post field called generate image, okay? So we will need this generate image right here. We copy that. We will add that as one of the parameter. So generate image, of course, I want to generate image because I'm going to post that to my Pinterest, okay? Along with the articles. Okay, so here I already made some, uh, you know, basic configuration, which you need to be able to complete this call. You will need a username, which uh, in, in my case, this one and the secret key, you'll be able to find it here easily. Okay, and then the keyword, this is going to be dynamic. It will be coming from this Google sheet, which is this one keyword right here. So we will map that uh, to column A, which is coming from here. All right, and then here in the generate image, we will select yes. Okay, and here, we will be using the image size, okay? The image size will be nine by 16, okay? So that it will be uh, nicely optimized on our Pinterest. And at the same time, on our WordPress post, it will also be optimized, which I'm going to show you. So just hang on guys. So it, this will be very, very interesting, especially when you are doing this uh, such designs, like for example, alfresco or garden design, uh, you know, bedroom ideas, kitchen design, things like that, okay? Um, Okay, so I think that's all we need. So we will be passing these six important parameters. Make sure your method is post and you're requesting this like that. And uh, yeah, I think uh, this is we require to be able to create this uh, first request, okay? And then you click okay, right like that, okay? So since it is going to return us JSON format, okay? What we need to do is to parse a JSON. So we will add a new module right here. We will search the parse JSON just like that, select that, and we are going to connect that from here. So since it is automatically connecting to here, we don't need that for now, and we connect it from here, okay? So in this case, it will be returning the data, okay? I will be showing you later, okay, once we do a quick test, okay? So just hang on, guys, so we click OK, all right? Now, once we have the data here, uh, what will happen is we now have the you know, uh, the required details which we are going to post here in title, okay, in title, this is coming from parse JSON. Since we haven't run this automation group yet, so the parse JSON doesn't have the uh, details yet. So what we need to do is just do a quick run, okay. So I link this, let's do a quick uh, run, run once. And here we have successfully created a you know, sample run right here. If we take a look at this one, so we are receiving this data right here, uh, which is we have the title and we have the content right here. And of course the image, which can be easily seen here in the uh, parse JSON. So if you take a look at the parse JSON, we have the three details that we will be requiring. The title, which is our keyword from you know this one, which is Alfresco Temporium. Okay, and then the image URL. So just now that we have these three details, okay, now we can map them correctly here in our WordPress post. So here, of course, map the title, which is coming from here, map the title, and then here, map the content, which is from here, and the URL, okay, we keep them, we keep the URL for now, okay, because uh, that image URL, we will be using that in our Pinterest post, okay. Now we click OK. Of course, don't forget the type will be post and then click OK. So now we will be uh, creating the basic post right here. Let's just check again. The status will be, uh, let's publish it right away. Click OK. Now that we have post, we will be able to create now our Pinterest post, okay? So we click add module right here and we select Pinterest, okay? Here in Pinterest, we will be creating a pin. So we click pin, we create a connection to our Pinterest account, just like that. And here, our board, 
We have a new board here if you see right here. We created a board called Alfresco Designs, which we will be using to post this wonderful, you know, these incredible looking Alfresco uh, photos. So we will be selecting that, which is the, in this case, Alfresco Design. That's the board. And we will reuse the title here, which is the Alfresco Emporium. And then the description, this will be coming from a WordPress post, okay? We cannot use the entire content because that's too long for interest, Pinterest post. So we will need the excerpt post that uh, our, the WordPress will be returning, okay? So since we don't have that, we will need to create a test post. So again, uh, click OK here. Let's see. So here, uh, uh, let's set up first the image URL, which is uh, basically the pin that we will be creating. So click this image URL like that and click OK. So for now, let's unlink this Pinterest post. Okay. Actually, this description right here is um, mandato uh, I mean optional. But what we are looking is the link going to our actual post because that's where we are going to uh, create affiliate links in order for us to uh, earn affiliate commission if you're planning to uh, sell something from Amazon. Okay, so click OK. So now let's do a quick run in order for us to get the data from here, from the created post. So let's unlink this first. And now uh, let's do a quick run again. So it will again create a fresco emporium. Okay, let's do that. So if you see right here, our automation has completed running. So let's see if, you know, as you can see, post ID 134, that means uh, we have successfully posted and created a post right here. So we will just quickly add one more module. So we unlink that and we add one module and click WordPress and here get a post, okay? So this get a post will only require a post ID right here. So click type post and post ID of course coming from here, all right? so. Now that we have that here in our Pinterest, what we just need to do is uh, here, the image URL, we already mapped that from the parse JSON right here and the link here. Okay, so as you can see, it showed all the related uh, data that we got from the post ID from here. Okay, so what we need now is the permalink. Okay, so the permalink will be from this one permalink. Uh, I think there is a better link that we can uh, grab. Let me just check. I think that should be the link, okay? Link URL. I think this is the link URL, uh, the actual link of the post or the slug, okay? And anyway, we can test, yeah, all right? We can have a look. So now that we have all the data, we can also add the description, uh, which we can use the excerpt. Excerpt because it won't exceed to 800 characters. So we can use that as description, all right? Now we click OK. So we almost have our automation complete. The last thing that we need to do is update our Google Sheet. So whenever we completed this keyword, for example, we have to update the status to done. So the next time the automation will run, it will select the second keyword, which is, for example, Alfresco Blinds, okay? So you can simply add a new module. So that's the final one, Google Sheet. And here we will update a row, okay? Update or update a cell. So this update a cell, of course, again, we will select from our uh, Google Sheet, which is Alfresco. And here, in our case, Sheet 1, and of course, we know that the cell we are going to update is from here, which is the status uh, column B. So we select that, okay? And the value will be done, okay? So we click. All right, so I think our automation is now complete. Let's now run. So it should, again, generate this first keyword for now. Okay, let's run and it should create a WordPress post. At the same time, it will create a Pinterest pin. Okay, if everything uh, is configured correctly. So let's, that, let's do that now. Run once. So yeah, our automation has successfully run. Uh, there's just some issue with the Google Sheet uh, update, but that's fine, we can easily fix that. But the important thing is it created the WordPress post right here and it created the Pinterest pin, okay? So let's go to Pinterest first and let's refresh this board. We should have our first pin. So look at that. Look at the beautiful uh, pin we have uh, added right here, Alfresco Emporium. Uh, we can easily fix this uh, by selecting another type of, uh, you know, tag in WordPress, but that's fine. It means our, you know, uh, 
automation is running correctly. So that's our uh, default description. And look at the image right here, which is very attractive. And we have directly created a post going to our link, going to our actual WordPress post. And if you click that, so this is our WordPress post, okay? So look at that beautifully created. Uh, since we didn't create a module to uh, actually uh, post the photo uh, image there along with the article, which we can easily add, okay? So anyway, you can add that. I'm going to show you anyway. Uh, so before you create a post, so let's unlink this. Before you create a post, there is a module called in WordPress. Go to WordPress and then uh, select create media. Okay, create media item. Okay, so that media item right here, we can map that. We can map that from uh, from here. So uh, there is two way. Uh, there is two module you will need. This one is create media item, and second one is uh, a little bit complex, but that's fine. Anyway, uh, I have another already created a video related to this. I will link that below. But the important fact is, you know, we have successfully uh, created the complete workflow creating our wordpress post and here creating our pin itself so here we just need to fix this right here uh i think the error is that it didn't uh select the uh correct um uh, module i mean a uh, correct uh column here so, uh, i think what we need here is update a row so we add a new module we select google sheet and uh, select update row and alfresco okay sheet one okay row number okay so this is the correct one i think row number is always coming from this one look at this we have a row number here row number right here coming from this google sheet so that's the, that's a data coming from here we can use that and here we can have the status uh, as status value as done okay so yeah, I think that's it. We can click OK. We will just need to update uh, one value here, which is done. Okay, let's do that on the second keyword. So here we just manually say done. And here it should take the alfresco blinds. Let's run the automation again. Look at that guys, it, it ran really smoothly. And here, as you can see, it updated the column, okay? So now when we go to our sheet, look at that, it updated to done. So the complete workflow is working, okay, as expected. And let's take a look at the new post right here in our board. So let's refresh. Now we have two pins and look at that. This is the alfresco blind, okay? And we have the post directly. So we go to uh, this WordPress post and this is the uh, alfresco blind post that we have right here, which you can easily put affiliate link, uh, for example, Amazon, okay, like, like for example, you direct your visitor to uh, Amazon affiliate, uh, you know, to show them different alfresco blinds right here. And yeah, it created a nicely uh, generated, you know, uh, image related to alfresco blind. And this is our first image, which is alfresco emporium. Now, since your automation is uh, completed and working correctly, what you need, just need to do is schedule this to, if you want a fresh post daily, you can schedule this to every day or, you know, once every, uh, for example, this day or regular interval. If you want to post every, every uh, hour or every 60 minutes, you want a new, uh, you know, content in your Pinterest, you want a new pin or every two hours. So things like that. Okay. You can do that to uh, run the automation, for example, this one every two hours. So you just need to turn this on and your automation will start running and you will have a fresh pin regularly. Okay. So that's about it guys, I think. Uh, and I think uh, there's a lot of things to absorb in this video, but if you have any question, you can contact me anytime or you can leave a comment below. Yeah. And thanks for staying. Uh, that's all for now.